All right, so here we are again in my tutorials. And uh, for this lesson, I am going to teach you how to basically change the, the unit. For example, here, it's in battles per day. And you are asked to change it to liters per hour, cubic meters per hour. And at the same time, change the unit or the range of the flow rate. So let's start. So first, you, uh, I hope you can remember that you have these four buttons here. Don't need to remove the cover. You just have to enter the menu. Alright. You go to setup. Once you go to setup, you can go to the device. Alright. Once you are in the device, Remember the first page that you see here, the one with the flow rate and the bar graph is basically the first measuring page. So as you can see here, you can see here that there are two lines and you have the volume flow. You have the range, which is that it's 0 to 1,207.6 battles per day here. And low flow cutoff, time constant, the format. You remember there there is only one decimal point because it is configured here as x dot x so let's try to go and change the unit so if you go down under the device you can see here device under device you have the units so let's try to change the this is the size volume flow for example we want to change the display you're, you were asked to change it to, say, cubic meters per hour, which is very simple and very common. So these are the available volume flow units. Let's say cubic meters per hour. You Once you change the, the setting or the parameter, you can see here that there's a check button, which means it is not yet saved, but changed already. And then back. And then back, back, back. It will say save configuration. Just click yes. And as you can see here, it's, in, it's already in cubic meters per hour. Now, you want to change the, the range, of course, because you have to match the range in the DCS. So release. You go to the setup. You go to the device, you go to the measuring page, find the range. So basically, you it will automatically convert the, the original value, say 1,200.6 barrels per day, to 8 cubic meters per hour. So you can change that. Say you want 100. I hope you can still remember no, how to navigate this one. It's quite easy say it's 150 for example 150 now there's a point so you move the point okay now you have 100 right just navigate again say 150 all right once it's 150 you can see again a checked it's not it's already changed but it is not yet saved Next step that I always tell everybody to do is to go to the I.O., which is the communication, for example, the 4 to 20. You remember on our videos, we showed you how to test the 4 to 20 milliampere simulation. So you need to as well change the range here. So it's 4 to 20 extended. That's for 3.8 to 20.5. 21.5 failure oh okay basically it will send 21.5 once you have a failure so it it's basically set for volume flow then you change the range as well because if you change it in the device it only changed the display the display so change it here and we move the dot and then you move again the cursor and this should basically match the device range. Once that is done, again, you will see a check. 
enter, enter, enter. It will again ask you, do you want to save the configuration? So you just select yes, and then that's it. So it's very easy. Let's just check if you already have the save data. Again, go. It's this is the easiest one. Go to quick setup. You can see here analog outputs, and you basically save the correct data. That's it. Quite easy, right? Watch out for the next video. Bye.